Fallout. Hey Sam. Oh, uh, it's okay. I was gonna tell you a joke about sodium, but nah. <laughs> Space. The final frontier. Or, we thought it was the final frontier until we discovered Ultra Space. So, I guess it's more like the penultimate frontier? Either way, it's really big, and there's lots of really cool, rare, and invaluable stuff out there. Naturally, of course, this is what led to the scourge known as space capitalism, and even though I'm an anarcho-socialist at heart, sometimes you've just got to give in to greed, which is why this week I'm looking at Vostok Inc., a twin-stick shooter for the cosmic fat cat wannabe inside us all. Released on the 27th of July by Nosebleed Interactive and available on Steam, Vostok Inc. sees you acting as the CEO of the titular company and gives you a singular goal. Become dirty, messy, rich. Rich enough that you could buy entire planets. Defying genre boundaries, Vostok Inc. is part twin-stick shooter, part space exploration, part idle clicker game, and part minigame fun time. It blends these elements excellently with a thoroughly 80s go-getter aesthetic, a charming graphical style, fun music, and a great sense of pun-laden humour. There are some really great features in Vostok Inc. that make it accessible to players that might otherwise have trouble playing. I think my favourite is the fact that not only is there a radar to help players find their way around, but that the radar can be upgraded really quite easily to display all vital information. Planets, warp points, bosses, collectibles, enemies, obstacles, you name it. It can be further upgraded again, and this is still really early in your play, to show you your distance from these objects as well. I love this feature because maps and radars are excellent for players who have issues with spatial or memory based tasks. Another great accessibility feature of Vostok Inc. is the fact that there are so many ways that you can approach your play, and virtually nothing is mandatory unless you want 100% complete the game. And really, this isn't the kind of game that you should be playing with that goal in mind. Nosebleed must have known what they were doing here because you've got the option to go around blasting up bad guys and space rocks in order to make moolah, or you can colonise planets and build your corporate empires, you can be active and outgoing, or you can sit back and let the cash flow in while you like sleep or eat or take a bath or do whatever it is that high powered CEOs do. You can go around collecting executives and middle managers to give you optional bonuses, and you can play minigames to keep those execs happy, but you don't have to. How you play this game really is up to you, and that makes me, like, super excited. As far as diversity is concerned, you don't get a bad deal with Vostok. The player character is deliberately ambiguous because it's a stand-in for you, and a lot of the other characters are genderless or ambiguously gendered, but that's by way of not actually being human, and of those you interact with there is certainly a variety, but the pendulum definitely swings heavier in the male direction. It would be great to see a bit more diversity around, but at least it feels like an effort has been made. Overall, Vostok Inc. is so much fun, like, I've played this every single day since I got my copy and I can't see myself stopping anytime soon. The diversity in playstyles, the absolutely mammoth number of achievements, and the fact that there is theoretically no limit to just how great your empire can expand are great for someone with ADHD. So even though it's not really that deep, Vostok Inc. is definitely one of my favourite games that I have played this year. Just introduced me. No, I didn't shut up. Introduce yourself. 
I'm Sam. Yeah, he's <laughs> Sam. We're gonna eat some food. Um, we're gonna eat food that came from Japan. It arrived in a thing called Japan Creek, which I should have said in the last video, but that's okay. It's really tasty. And so today, to start off with, we're gonna eat. Something in shiny plastic. Ah, okay, because Sam can't reach up and bring it closer. So, yeah, let's pretend I'm looking at that. Okay, now this says. You get drop flavor you what? Strawberry yogurt flavored yogurt drops. Okay. Oh, they're much bigger than they look. They look like jelly beans. Give me one. They do not look like a bean. It looks like a bean. Oh, you got it. It's not sticky. It's fine. I'm just gonna go down here and smell it and everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. They smell like literally nothing. Yeah. That's disappointing. What did it taste like? Crunch it! It said yogurt drop! I'll drop you. Oh, yeah, you probably be good. <laughs> I was expecting it to be um, less firm. I mean, it's like... It just tastes like strawberries. It's like yogurt. It's like yogurt, it just tastes like strawberries. I'm disappointed. They're not as amazing, no. Maybe if I didn't just try and break my little mouse jumpers on them, Ow. Yes, your mouse chompers. Look, just because my mouth is empty. <laughs> they were disappointing, but I guess they were tasty, but I was expecting more. Next food is... Oh god, how am I going to hold this freaking thing? Okay, no, I can't do it! Use uh, bend and lift. Bend and lift? Okay, hang on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Taste good, but really, I would definitely smell nice and taste nice. Yeah, they did. If you find these, you should buy them. Out of the two, this is definitely the one you should try. You agree? I agree. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go now. We have fun. Bye. Bye bye. When we asked you which of the Madagascar main characters you most identified with, an overwhelming majority of you said Melman. I get it. I'm totally with you. Bye. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart, I have but one desire, and that one is you, no other will do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal that I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire.